Steve, I understand you have a reputation for providing people with access to justice. Why, why do you have that reputation? Well, Chris, I hope I have that reputation. That would be, that would be something that I would consider to be and do consider to be very important. Um, but I think that what I've done is to the, it's not just personally representing individuals who otherwise couldn't afford representation, which is something that's always been important to me and was part of the reason why I became a lawyer in the first place. But uh, also working with the courts and with bar associations to promote access to justice more broadly. So, uh, for example, uh, the uh, municipal court here in Chicago uh, developed a pro bono program uh, that was intended both to provide uh, free legal assistance uh, in cases where the judges identified as potentially having merit and where a lawyer could possibly you know, really add value uh, in a particular case. Uh, uh, so we worked with the court in developing uh, a pro bono program. Uh, my firm, Neil Gerber and Eisenberg, was one of the firms involved uh, in, in the pilot program for that, and I'm very proud of that and of uh, the other pro bono activities uh, that we do at Neil Gerber and Eisenberg, uh, where I have the opportunity to chair our pro bono program. I've worked on a number of opportunities over the years that are designed to provide legal assistance to people who otherwise couldn't afford it. For example, even the ethics rules uh, made some important strides in that respect. I referred earlier to the uh, work of many uh, in developing the Illinois Rules of Professional Conduct of 2010. Those rules contain a new rule, Rule 6.5, which makes it easier for lawyers to take on uh, pro bono clients in short-term matters. You don't have to do the, the formal conflict checks that can make it difficult to take on clients uh, like in providing advice at the courthouse or maybe helping someone in a domestic violence situation. Uh, so the rules themselves help promote access to justice. And then again, uh, there are court-related programs that do the same. Uh, in addition to the municipal court program that I referred to earlier, my firm has uh, been actively involved in the domestic violence pro bono program uh, where we provide free legal assistance to victims of domestic violence who need orders of protection and relief of, of that nature. So, what a great cause. So it, it's certainly a very important cause, unfortunately one for which there's tremendous need uh, in our community. And uh, uh, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to try to help in that regard and, and in other respects relating to access to justice.